Good morning, Facebook friends. Wow, yeah, what a day it was. Oh, should I apologize first for being late? It's 9.45, or 8.45, not 8.30 this morning. A little bit of a slow start for myself. Um, but, you know, the replay is always there for you. Uh, what a day! Dancing Through Life Day Retreat was on Saturday, and I had... Ten women gathered with me for the day. We spent the day in the park. It was a glorious, stupendously beautiful day at all levels. The sun was shining. The sky was blue. Uh, later on, there was just a little bit of cloud cover, so it wasn't too hot. We had a lovely breeze that kept the mosquitoes away, kept it a comfortable temperature. And... From the moment we gathered in our opening circle, there was a sense of connection and bonding that happened. We all held each other in the highest regard, honoring, respecting one another, holding sacred space, and it was, it was exquisite. There is no other way to describe the day. Yesterday, on Sunday, I uh, saw a friend and she looked at me and she said, wow, you are absolutely glowing today. There's this light in your eyes. What's going on? And I said, well, how can I not be glowing? I had the opportunity to facilitate the Dancing Through Life Retreat Day yesterday. And she's like, oh yeah, was it? It was exquisite. That was my answer. We danced, we sang, we shared, we talked, we spoke about our fears, we... Uh, did a really neat activity to uh, let go of what's getting in the way of stepping out and shining in our light. I don't know who you are, but there's a heart. Thank you. Um, somebody's watching this morning, even though names aren't showing up on my screen. It's lovely to know that someone's there. Thank you. Love you. Um, and wow, I can't begin to express how honored I feel to be the one called to gather women together in this way. At the end of the day, we did a sharing circle and passed my selenite wand around to use like a talking stick so that, good morning, Pat. Um, and it was just stunning. It was stunning to hear what women were sharing. This incredible sense of peace. And as one woman said, not not peace as in tired, like, uh, but peace with a quiet inner strength. And that was the word that echoed throughout the circle as inner strength. There was this sense of standing in our power, of, of being who we are as women in our fullness. And that's part of the whole dancing through life philosophy is to be dancing through life, not just physically dancing. I mean, dance is joy and movement. Um, dance is music made visible. And dancing through life is moving through life with joy and ease and grace and flow. And good morning, Blanca. Oh, more goddesses joining. Pat, mm, Blanca, beautiful women who understand what this means to be truly standing in your power as a woman. I had the privilege of um, receiving a message and transmitting it through for the ladies that we've lived in this patriarchal society for so, so long, at least in North America and I believe most of the European countries, where the man has ruled and everything has been run with the competitive philosophy, a very masculine approach. And then there was a bit of a swing into the opposite end of upsurge of, of women, this feminism that's looking for equal, equality. And um, there were some who took the role to this honoring of goddess and that means oh we have to wear our fancy jewelry and our flowy clothes and be in the flow completely and be all airy fairy and 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 it's time that the pendulum swings to the middle where we're in that place of balancing those things 
of honoring our masculine strength and honoring our feminine creativity and letting those masculine and feminine energies dance, dance within us and dance within our world to honor and take the best of those energies and bring the best of ourselves into the world to shine our light in a way that dances with the energies and the true essence of who we are. This is what the Dancing Through Life Day Retreat was about. Shining our light, finding that inner balance, creating a sense of harmony with our masculine and feminine, remembering who we are, light and love, and that we have gifts to bring to the world, and that we have dreams to fulfill. And what we dream of doing is what is a calling from our heart and when we do what's in our heart then we live with joy and when we, we live with joy we ripple joy out into the world it's just this thing that builds on itself it's a domino effect that we can domino out into the world so I'm very very thrilled with the way the day unfolded and the results of the day it was amazing. It was a stunning experience for the 11 of us who were there. And it's interesting to note that the number 11 is a double one, which is double creativity. And it was such a creative day. And I look forward to doing this again. I'm talking with some folks in Okotoks about heading out there in August, and we're going to do another Dancing in the Park, probably again in Confederation Park at the end of September. And golly, maybe we can make this a regular monthly thing. Imagine if we're bringing women into their full power and strength uh, once a month. Wow, we can really make a big difference in the world. And then ultimately, dancing through life will flow out to not just women's circles, but to circles of men and women coming together who all want to stand in a world where we all stand beside each other, no one in front, no one behind. Uh, a give and take of lead and follow, a perfect harmony. That's my goal, peace and harmony in the world. So there's some thought for you that wonderful things are happening, something to focus on, some good happening in the world. And I know that each of the 10 ladies who were there are going to be rippling out some wonderful energy into the world around them. And so that's going to expand. Connect with someone that you really enjoy and appreciate today. Build on each other's energy. Feel good and take that feel goodness into the world. There's your Monday message. Connect with someone you really love and respect. Build each other up and, and flow that love into the world. Namaste, which of course means the divine in me sees, recognizes the divine in you. Acknowledging you. I love you. Have a great day.